Hi, this is Kurt Johnson from Shawbucks in Jamestown, New York, on Chautauqua Lake, doing another Mindful Monday. You can't be happy all week if you don't start on Monday. Should you choose to be happy, life is choice. This week I'm starting something different. We're going to do a three-part video on my Texas experience that happened at the age of 20. So part one, here it comes. Last week I talked about my second life crisis, cancer, testicular cancer. Uh, two weeks after I signed my lease uh, to build Shaw Bucks, uh, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer October 1994. After surgery as a carpenter, I went back to building Shaw Bucks. I also went through four one week long sessions of chemotherapy at Roswell Park, Buffalo. Amazingly, the project did get finished. Two weeks after my last chemo treatment, I was able to open Shaw Bucks March 31st, 1995. Last week I mentioned my first life crisis at age 20 and gave no details. What happened to me at age 20 was 10 times worse than having cancer and chemo or perhaps even death. I was incarcerated against my will. I was forced to take medications, beaten down to the ground should I refuse to take them. I was incarcerated for four to five weeks. I went from 155 pounds to 110 pounds in that short time. If it wasn't for my two loving parents that made arrangements with a counselor from the state in Sale Asylum that I was to be released and returned home to a state hospital, I probably wouldn't be here today doing this Mindful Monday. I call this my Texas experience. It was through this experience that I gained a huge life lesson and came up with a quote, the only bad experience in life is the one you didn't learn from. I remember when my parents finally made it down to see me, my mom just had this horror look on her face. She said it took me forever to walk over to them. I was walking like a zombie. She said she hardly recognized me because I had lost so much weight. I looked like a World War II prisoner of war. Uh, my cheekbones were really big and I really wasn't able to talk very much. I was on such a high dose of medications. My parents had made arrangements to take me to Two East and Jamestown instead of directly to a state hospital. As I stayed there for a couple weeks, uh, my parents were told that I probably had brain damage and a permanent chemical imbalance that was irreversible in my brain due to this ecstasy drug that I had taken that no one was aware of the side effects or long-term effects. Uh, in 1985, this drug was legal and you could buy it in the bars. They also told my parents to prepare themselves for the worst, that more than likely their son would have to spend the rest of his life in a mental institution. Uh, there was two choices, Warren State Hospital, which was closer to Jamestown, or go on to New York. It was a very grim, dark time. My parents decided to try me at home, which didn't work out as planned. I had stopped taking my medications and wound up back in Two East. After a few days in the hospital, the doctor recommended trying a electric shock treatment where they stop your heart and it restarts and it somehow resets your brain and possibly uh, would knock me out of this condition. I was still on probably 1800 milligrams of Thorazine a day and lithium um, and they were cutting me back off the lithium. There was four other drugs that were in my system that didn't come back with my report so they don't know what else, what other medications I was taking in Texas for sure. Fortunately, the electric shock therapy possibly woke up something within me that assisted me where I could go back home again uh, I started working with a counselor, Mike Connors, whose first conversation with me is 
This is probably a great opportunity for you to get to know yourself before finding a job or a career that you have to stay in the rest of your life and not be happy with. So take this time, get to know yourself, find out what you want to do for a career. Uh, Mike started working with the doctors and removing the medications to see what he was working with. He got me off the lithium. Six months later, I was still probably on a thousand milligrams of Thorazine and Mike wanted to test me to see where I was at cognitively. I was sent to Olean to have my abilities tested and when Mike went over the test results with me, they were far from normal. Um, I read at about a third grade reading level. My IQ was below 70. Uh, there wasn't much hope for me to enter a type of a career level job at that time. Although there is a positive side to this story, I was tested about four years ago and um, my IQ is average of about 100. I also read at an average college level now. So all things are always possible. If at the age of 20, if you can't read, yes, you can learn to read again. You can increase your IQ. I'm sure the thousand milligrams of Thorazine did have an effect on my test results, but uh, that just goes to tell you that your, what you're consuming does play a result in your mental health.